Hi, I'm Dr. Allison Sheffield, and I'm an associate professor of physics here at LaGuardia Community College, where I teach classes in astronomy, the topics in astronomy and life in the universe, physics classes, and also the first year seminar. A little bit about my background. I got my bachelor's in science from in physics from NYU and both my master's and PhD in astronomy from the University of Virginia. I'm really excited about the results of the Nature paper. Using chemical abundances, we chemically tagged stars in two groups of stars in the Milky Way, our home galaxy, to figure out if they formed in the Milky Way or in a small galaxy that the Milky Way accreted, which just means that the Milky Way pulled it in. This is just like DNA testing allows us to see how two people are related to each other. My main contribution to this work was selecting stars for the initial observations. We found that stars in two of these groups called Triand and A13 not only have nearly identical abundances to each other across several elements, but have similar abundances to the Milky Way's disk. We ran computer simulations and found that an accreted galaxy can dynamically perturb the disk and literally so come through, perturb the disk, and literally set the disk oscillating. And this can explain how these groups of stars were relocated or galactically evicted to the outer realms of the disk. Ultimately, this work helps us understand how complex the disk really is and how common these groups are at the fringe of the disk. And for future work, we're interested in carrying out a similar analysis for other groups of stars in the Milky Way to see how common kicked out disk stars are. Stay tuned.